Race Race number 9 has us here today at Phoenix International Raceway as I'm doing this again for Steve Gonzalez and Joshua Mudd. Ugh. Anyway, um, this is something I'm doing for this race. For once, it is not going to be Twinix kind of themed race. It's going to be, like I said, Phoenix. Anyway, we're here today for Chase Race number 9 as we're here today for the Advocare 500. Nine drivers separated by 37 points. It's a lot that can happen here. 47 laps. We'll probably have our championship battle shaped up for next week's season finale, Homestead, for the Ford EcoBoost 400. And as we get ready to head to the back straightaway, we're going to see where everybody's at. Dylan Young in the two is going to be on the pole today in the Blue Deuce. He is a former winner in the series, looking to try to get back into victory lane for the first time this season. Long shot him is the top qualified chaser, John Dillon, who dropped to 8th in points. He's 28 points out of points leader Aaron Williams Jr. John Dillon will be bringing up the rest of the front row, two-time winner this season, Daytona 500 champion. Seth Cole, a former Daytona 500 champion from last season, he won earlier this season at Kansas. And Martinsville, he's a two-time winner this season. Seth will start in the third spot. He is mathematically eliminated from championship content, uh, contention, but just going out there to try to win races now and try to stay out of the bottom of the points and maybe get back to the top ten. Comes in here 13th in points. Trent Dunham, 7th in the points, 24 points back. We'll start fourth. He's in a good qualifying spot. We'll see how he does. Noah Hart, his teammate right there for Earnhardt Ganassi, starts fifth. A winner from a Zen Joltis. Danny Wells, still trying to break through his first win this season. He'll start sixth, who just... Barely missed the chase. And the Mopar Nationwide Series, now two-time defending champion now after he locked it up in the Nationwide race yesterday. So congrats again to Danny on winning back-to-back. -back. That's first for me, I've seen. Uh, Justin Perry will start seventh. Good run for him. And his teammate, Kurt Mortonick, who's also in the battle for the championship. Six in points, 22 points back. He will roll out in eighth place and round out the top ten. Another chaser, Steven Gonzalez, will start ninth. He is fifth in points, 17 back. And... Ran out the top 10 is Michael Walton, the rookie in the Petty 43. See a couple of chases back there. Sean Galligan, James McLeod, Jacob Lawler's right there. Um, looking back a little bit more. Richard Johnson, Joshua Collard are back there. Let's see where other chasers are as we move back. Okay, there's Collard, there's Richard Johnson. Uh, I see Sean Henley back there. He's qualified mid way back here. Aaron Williams Jr. is two rows back. James Qualls is back here. The last time we went here, the last winner we had at Phoenix. I mean, Phoenix! William Duncan. So we have a lot of chasers in the back as well. So we'll see what happens. We'll be trying to survive 47 laps around Phoenix. Anyway, here's your starting lineup for today's Advocare 500. <laughs> Your starting lineup as the field rolls behind the Chevy Camaro pace car. Dylan Young and John Dylan will lead him down to the green flag. Waiting for the pace car to head off. Championship implications can be decided today. Who's going to survive here at Phoenix? We're about to find out as the Advoc here. 500 is about to go green, and there it is. The green flag is out, and we are racing here in Phoenix. I'm here again, tired of doing it. We haven't even done the lap one. Oh, Dylan Young, Dylan, Dylan. Gotta be careful, Seth, Seth. Woo! That's always the most treacherous spot. It's right there on lap one. Seth Cole and Trent Dunham just about wrecked each other. And we cleared the first turn. Dylan Young emerges as the race leader in the number two. Seth's on the bottom trying to get something to work. John Dylan's fighting back on the outside. Seth's kind of holding up the bottom lane right now. He's gonna drop back to third. Trent Dunham and Noah Hart, teammates, are bound for fourth. Guys know they need to just try to survive. It's too early to try to go out of the weather. No hurt to try to clear Trent. Here comes Justin Perry under Danny Wells. Dylan Young is still leading the way in the two. Let's see if the outside gets a good run right here. Trent Dunn might actually get his teammate here. No hurt. Actually, no P. Let him in. That's probably a smart move for the one car, though. Instead of just trying to stay up toward the front. But like I said, when wrecks start happening, if they do, you don't want to be in the middle of it. Now he's going under back under Noah Hart. Right now, oh, and John Dillon's pulled up to the back bumper. We've had a spin. Oh, and it was Joshua Collard. 12th in the standings was involved. Some smoke up here. Guess nobody else wrecked. 
But Collard had something happen to him. And Collard's gonna be coming to pit row. That's a tough race for Josh. That might be it for him. His championship hopes might be over. The only country petty car up there. Oh, and these guys are really bowing hard back here. Sean Henley back there's gone to the bottom lane. I saw Aaron Williams Jr. still back there on the high side. And they're still going after Dylan Young for the lead. But he's got the high side locked down. They're single foul for about the first 10 cars, I believe. First side by side battle was Michael Walton, who is in the 11th place. And Jason McLeod's trying to go after him. That's 11th and 12th. Jacob Waller going after Sean Gallagher. There's three chasers right there the 5, the 21, and the 56. Also, first still in contention for the championship, although Gallagher and McLeod are on the outside big time, needing a miracle to happen. Jacob Waller is trying to gain as many points, but like I said, 25 and 88 are toward the back. The game some ground right now, early on today here. Phoenix! St. Collard's still out on the racetrack. William Duncan's back here. He's struggling. James Paul is Aaron Williams Jr. Saw Seth Cole. Not Seth Cole. That's Sean Henley. He's not even that far up either. He's not moving up at all. He was 30th last time. Williams was 33rd. These guys are struggling right now. Like I said, though, if one wreck happens, that could change a lot of things. Right now, they're keeping it pretty clean, surprisingly. As John Dillon is still trying to work on that two card, he's actually got to the inside. Here comes John Dillon. And that's the guy that's back there eighth in points. He lost a lot of ground after last week at Texas. He really needs a good run. He's going to go get the lead, I think. Oh, wait. Here comes Young back on the outside in the two. Not just yet. Dylan Young powers off the outside line. He keeps the lead. The holster is still out front. John Dylan, I think, thought he had him, but that outside line is just too much right now for that inside to do anything. Right now, Seth Cole is holding down third spot. Noah Hart's in fourth, and teammate Trent Dunham in the McDonald's. Chevrolet's in fifth. Danny Wells, Justin Perry, Kurt Mortenick, Chaser, Steven Zoll's also Chaser. And Joshua Mudd right off the top ten. A couple of Gibbs and a couple of Mike Walter racing cars right there in the top ten. Nose to tail from the 20 to the 15. They're all running really good right now. And then there's Michael Walton there. By, like I said, they're mainly getting single file right now. They're actually pretty clean, like, surprisingly. <laughs> Uh-oh, Charles Sanford and Pichu London got each other. I did a practice race, and they had a lot of crazy things happening in the race. And so far, they've lasted a lot longer than they did in the other one. Like I said, when they catch Collard, though, he's going to be off the pace. That could be a factor. Collard's actually on the back stretch. He's not even really close to the leaders at all. Right now, Dylan Young, again, is pacing the way. They're single file. That's kind of sad. Wow, they are actually train racing right now. Or, like I said, they wasn't doing this. They were racing it up big time. Like I said, I guess they needed some obstacles. Like I said, the wreck happens, though. It does change a lot. And here comes Noah Hart. He's trying to get Seth now for third. Huh. Well, the, the practice race is so far turning a lot better than this one. That sucks. They're mainly getting single file here on out now. The back still, they're kind of racing it up. Oh, Red Bell and Peach and London, they're getting into it now. What's not going on at the front is going on in the back right now. Red Bell and a uh, tribute painting for uh, U.S. Army and everything. The quick and lows on the hood, but nice little paint scheme they got going on right now for this program for the 39. Red, the winner from, uh, I believe, Kansas. She got out there and won there at the end of that race. While we're not having much going on at the moment, let's go. Well, actually, we might have a lead. We might have a lead chained up. Not yet. Let's say we might go back and take a look, see what happened to Josh McCollard, and see what happened to the 44 car early in today's race. This is mid pack, and it's right around third in points. Richard Johnson, who just narrowly escaped this, Chris Washer actually pinched. Actually, it might have been Collard that pinched Washer into the wall, but they were three wide. And Tim Fralick, man, he got away from that with very little damage. Washer has a little bit of side damage, I believe, too, but Collard goes into the wall, backs the Hunt brothers forward into the wall, and but all she wrote, I killed Washer's run too. He's now in the back. But that's a tough record for Collard. He had to make a pit stopping. Josh is now a couple laps down, I believe, and dead last. So that's a tough break for the guy who came here 12th in points. Could be killing his opportunity at a championship, but tough break for the 44 team for sure. But we'll go back up to the front now. As Dylan Young is still your race leader. As John Dylan and Seth Cole and the rest of the field are chasing down the Blue Deuce. All right, guys, and we are back. Also wanted to point out something yesterday I didn't really point out. Ryan Acosta in the Nation Wonders, he won the race, but he had not led a single lap all season long. He led the final three laps. Those were the first three laps he led all season. I wanted to point that out. 
so people would know. But if Costa finally led his first lap of the season, they were the most important laps of the season for him. We got him a victory. That was good for him. As you saw, Josh McCollard is lap down right now in 42nd. There he is. He's over in turns three and four. A ways from the field, and he's not really up there. Like right now, nobody's making moves. And like I said, hopefully when pit stops happen, they'll start mixing it back up. I don't know how they're running so clean right now. I've tested this a billion times. Check down with my witness. He uh, saw how much they wrecked. He's probably shocked if he's watching this when he does live that they're pretty clean right now. So, I don't know. It's first. But again, when pit stops, they'll be happening very soon. I believe two pit stops are going to have to be made during this race. And like I said, the first one's probably coming up not too long. Actually, it might be right now. Yep, it is right now. And here comes the split decisions as people are staying out. I think Trim was trying to stay out and lead a lap. So that's going to get that from him. As we're seeing who's pitting. It's actually only about the three cars. It looks like only the two, the 27, and the eight are pitting. And Seth Cole will take the lead. Trent Dunham is now second. Danny Lowe's up to third. I think it might be three different groups of pit stops right here. But more are going to come down this time. We're going to have a different camera for it this time when they come around. So we can see who all pits and who doesn't. Somebody's back out there staying. See who that is on the outside who's staying out. That is Joseph Lombard. He's staying out. Right, Vader View, James Qualls is staying out. But it looks like everybody else is coming to pit road. So Lombard's going to stay out lead lap in the 24. Of the, remember he won the Las Vegas Pole Award and everything, but he hasn't got a win yet. Almost won at Kansas, but he's been trying to break through in the 24 car and get a victory for Hendrick Motorsports. Right, Vader View already won this season at Pocono. James Qualls is also trying to get to victory lane. These only three have stayed out. There is Noah Hart. Dylan Young. Oh, Noah Hart's way ahead. He got out ahead of Dylan Young. That's good on the eight car. It's like Collard, I think, is pitting now. There's Seth. Brent Dunham. Danny Weldon. There's Noah Hart. Seth trying to get out in front. And Noah Hart is going to be the only two battling for the lead, it looks like. Seth's going to be the his inside. So Noah's going to have a challenge, but Dylan Young is nowhere to be found. He's There he is. He's in fourth now. And move the Budweiser number eight car, Noah Hart, to the race lead. Now the race has got mixed up, and these cars are coming off the road. There's Jack Richards back here. He's sitting on pit road. Not sure if it's what happened to the 81. He has a little bit of damage, it looks like. There's Vader View and Falls. Joseph Lombard has damage to his door. I think maybe that was a contact right there. I don't know. Caused a lot of damage. Looking through the field right now. Looks like everybody cycled through. Oh, there's Richard Johnson, Aaron Williams Jr. Ooh, a lot of contact right there between the points leader and third in points. Oh, Richard Johnson and Andreas Allen. Oh, they're about to go three wide. Oh, wow, and Andreas Allen's pushing Johnson right in the way. Uh-oh, they're going to cause a wreck. Oh, it's right around two guys battling for the championship. Andreas Allen, he kind of screwed himself at Atlanta to make the championship battle. He was in contention, but he doesn't need to make a rookie mistake again and take out a couple of people battling for the actual championship. That was a close call for first and third and points right there. Wow. They're back there battling. I mean, they're in the back though too. I mean, they're 35th, 36th, 37th. I mean, Johnson and Williams are struggling right now. The field did get separated somewhat. Again, it stayed fairly clean. But now we got new players at the front of the field. Definitely. These guys are outside the top channels. It's like, where are we at in order? Jack Richards still sitting on pit road, it looked like. Not quite sure what happened to the 81. But now at the front, there's Chris Watcher. He just went a lap down. He's now in front of second place, Seth Cole. But Noah Hart's now the new race leader. The car, the car that's dominated this race, Dylan Young's back here in fourth. Trent Dunham's now in third. Danny Wells back there in the fifth. John Dillon's the one that kind of was the big loser on that stop, along with Dylan Young. The big winner had to be Noah Hart. I mean, he's leading. He was about uh, fourth place, and now he's leading the race. Chris Washer's kind of holding up second place, Seth Cole, and the rest of this pack from progressing toward the front. Looks like Trent Dunham's trying to work the bottom right now. He's actually got a fender to the inside of the 52. Not quite yet. He got not enough of a run off the corner. Working lap 23 of 47. This race is basically about halfway over. So hard mining them. Now that's like, there's Jacob Lawler. He's back there in 31st. Sean Henley's 29th, I believe. Or no, he's just in 28th now. They passed somebody, looks like. 
don't know. That was weird. And Chris Washer's coming back up on the race here, and he wants to get his lap back. Even though there's no cautions in the Cup Series here, in my series, he really can't make it up. He's just trying, I guess, to get back in the lead lap. He's running all over the back bumper of the 8 car. That's probably what Seth and everybody wants behind them to do. Like I said, Seth, he's in a position now where he finished last last week at Texas. We'd love to come back and win this week. That'd be a pretty interesting task to do. Oh, Washer's trying to get him. I think Seth was hoping that he gets out of the way. There's not really much they can do about the 31 right now. He's not slow. He just kind of got behind and tracked it and he had to fix a little bit of side damage. But Washer's not off the pace. Looks like he had a fast car, but again, just the circumstances with the 44 probably hurt his chances at a good run today. We'll try to break for the rookie in the 31. Let's go back a little bit and see what's going on behind these guys. Danny Wells right here. Justin Perry is battling his teammate. Kurt Morton at that 6th, 7th, and then John Dillon's 8th, with Danny Wells running in 5th right now. Joshua Mudge right now 9th. Uh, There's Joseph Lombard, 10th. Qualls is right now running 11, trying to get the spot. Roy Vaderview is 12th. Steven Gonzalez is 13th. Michael Walton is 14th. John Gallagher is 15th. The rest of your top 20 is James McLeod, Michael Norman, Tim Walt, Cole Daly, and Brian Acosta. Aaron Reed, Charles Jackson, last week's runner-up. Uh, runner and then we got a battle for 23rd between teammates at Everham. Jake Rogers, James Silverfox. Well, like, Rogers actually thinks they'll hang on. And then Red Bell is 25th. Brian James, 26th. Peachy London, 27th. Sean Henley is in 28th. Jack Richards is back on the racetrack. There's Daniel J, 29th. Jacob Waller is 30th. And then we got a pack right here Charles Stanford, Tim Fralick, last week's winner. William Duncan's in 33rd. Cody Lamas is 34th. Aaron Williams Jr., the points there, is 35th. Andreas Allen, Daniel Hummel, Richard Johnson slipped back to 38th. There's Zohar Munn, Chris Washer's lap down in 40th. And then Joshua Collard's 41st, one lap down. And Jack Richards is dead last right now, five laps down. And Chris Washer's going to run to the inside of Noah Hart. He's trying to get his lap back. He's actually going to get him. I think Noah's going to let him. Uh, nope, he's not letting him go. Nope. Not whatsoever he's not letting him go. Never mind. That 31, though, could play a factor in this battle for the lead, though, if he screws up the 8 car, the 52 and the 1 and the 2, it all can pounce on him. And that second pack is starting to catch up. Danny Wells and them are starting to close in on these guys, bringing along the 20, the 18, and the 27, so it could be an 8 car battle for the race lead. But again, another pit stop's coming up, and that could play crucial uh, in the finish of this race. Chris Washer is really running that 8 car hard. Even though he's a lap down, I don't know why he's racing the leader so hard, but again, these guys came around in the series about the same time as replacement drivers, and Washer's back under him again. That could be the opening for the rest of these cars. Noah Hart has to battle the 31 now, and Washer might at least clear him off the corner. I think he's going to. Washer needed to clear him right there. He needed to slide up. He didn't do it. Every time he gets there, he's going to be... I don't know if he's going to stay beside him either. Yeah, just Washer needed to drive in there just a little bit deeper. He would have cleared him, done the slide job, but again, that could have caused a wreck. But again, surprised how we've not had any wrecks. One of those races, I guess. I don't know. I think Noah Hart's acting like he's coming to pit road. He's running a little bit lower. Yep, there he goes. I think Dylan Young's coming with him. Same sequence as last time. Oh, I think Seth and them are deciding. Nope, they're staying out. I thought they were going to pit with him. Here comes Dylan Young, John Dillon, Joshua Mudd. And we got some guys coming earlier this time. I believe. Jake Rogers looks like he's coming in. So Daniel Day, Jacob Lawler, Tim Fralick, Charles Sanford, Richard Johnson's coming in. They're short pitting. Looks like this is the last stop too. Oh, Dylan Young had a horrible time getting his pit stall. I just maybe that's what happened to his first one. Like he was really slow getting his stall right there. That was weird. Who's coming in this time? Looks like the rest of the guys are coming in. Somebody I heard to stay. I heard somebody stay out. James Qual stayed out. Roy Baderview stayed out. Jack Richards is a few laps down, so he doesn't have to pit. Looks like everybody else is coming in. Daniel Hummel's staying out in the 10 car. There's Qualls. He stayed out and led a lap. Qualls is trying to get out of the cellar of the chase. He's been running about 14th, I think, the whole entire chase, basically. So he's trying to get out of that spot. Gets a point right there. Here comes Vaderview. Now the question is, there's Noah Hart. Wow, he's really far ahead of Dylan Young. I think Dylan Young's having problems on his pit stop because he keeps losing more and more ground every time. And Chris Washer got out ahead of Seth Cole. Wow. And there's Noah Hart right there. Wow. I don't know if he's going to really hold him up. Wow, Noah Hart's going to pull away. Chris Washer might hold him up. I don't know. Seth and Trenton are going to try to play catch up right now. 
There's guys coming off the road right here. Oh, they're not really going to be a factor. Doesn't look like it. Maybe we actually let a lot that time. But not, Noah Hart, man, he pulled away. That's all he needed to do right there. We're going to wait and let it recy or recycle back through. But Noah Hart, man, that's... Apparently Dylan Young's having a problem with his pit stop. That's all he needed. He fell back again. He's back to fifth place now. Danny Wells has jumped up there. Now the battle for seconds on. Seth Cole and Trent Dunham. I think somebody's not up here that was. I don't know. James Wall's actually going to be in the top ten now. Great for him. Justin Perry back here with Joshua Mudd. They're battling right now for sixth place. Dylan Young's fifth. Danny Wells is up to fourth. And there's Trent and Seth. 1.8 seconds back from the 8. Zohar, Zohar Mudd is right there. There's Joshua Collard. I don't know if he's going to play Factor right now. No, he's going to be right with the leaders. I don't know if he's going to play a Factor, though. It doesn't look like it. Oh, well, looks like we're going to have one of those clean races after all. Like I said, Collard was ahead of nowhere. It might have been a little bit of a problem. Collard's going to hold up the 31. Washer was trying to still get his lap back. And Trent's trying to go after Seth for a second. But again, Noah Hart just kind of pasted away from the field here at... Phoenix. I haven't had, really had a chance to say it during the race. I actually kind of stopped saying it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, kind of a lot opposite than the race I had just tested here. There's a lot more wrecks and a lot and more interesting things going on. But one of those things, I guess, Jack Richards coming to pit road, it looks like. Let's see where some of the chasers are as we're done with this cycle. Uh, Seth Cole is running second. Trent Dunham is third. John Dillon is 8th, James Paul is 9th, Kurt Morton is 10th, so a lot of chasers up here right now. Steven Gonzalez is running 12th, Sean Gallagher is 15th, James McLeod is 17th, and then we go back a little bit further. Uh, Sean Hindley is running 29th, William Duncan 30th, Jacob Lawler is in 31st, uh, Richard Johnson 35th, Aaron Williams Jr. is 36th, and then Josh McCollard is 41st. John Dillon, like I said, oh, I think I said John Dillon. I feel like I did for some reason, I don't know. Like I said, all the chasers, but... A lot of the guys that are on the bottom half of that battle for the championship is running a lot better today than others. I'm looking through here. Aaron Williams having problems. John's having his difficulties. Richard Johnson, Jacob Lawler. Steven Zollis is 12th. And I said Kurt's running right in front of him, and then Trent's a little bit further up. John Dillon's up there. William Duncan struggling, so I mean, it's going to get very tight up there for the points lead going into Homestead if it stays how it is. The gap right now is 1.4 seconds. That's Trent having problems getting around Collard right now. That's not what Trent needed. He was trying to battle with Seth for second. Dylan Young's going after Danny for fourth. Dylan Young had the best car early in this race. I'm pretty sure something's up with that first pit stall because he had the slowest amount. He's like, he just slowed getting into his pit stall, looks like. Oh, and Trent cannot be happy with that 44. But Dylan Young's working on that 29 now for fourth. It looks like a race that he possibly could have won. I think Trent's going to clear Collard finally. Yep, he's going to now. Dylan Young trying to get around Danny. Couldn't quite do it. There's a gap to Noah Hart right there from Seth Cole. Down to 1.2 seconds. Seth is slowly catching the 8 car, but he might run out of time. Knocked it down about 6 tenths, I think, since the pit stop. It was about 1.8 seconds, I think, at one point down to 1.2 seconds now, even despite the 31 in between them, there's so our mud, and I don't think he's going to be too slow. He just kind of got behind in strategy. But Trent Dunham's back on the hunt for that 52 right there in the one. I don't know exactly who's in the best position, but I know Trent's gained a lot of points today, for sure. And then looking down there, I mean, John Dillon's going to gain a few points. Wall is trying to help himself out of the last spot in the chase. Kurt Morton is going to gain a lot of points. And then Steven was 12, so uh, I went really country. I think I'm just country all the time. I don't know. It didn't, nothing was knocked off that time. It stayed about slow it knocked off. It's, now it's really slowing down. It's just, it's still 1.2 seconds. He's not even gained like half a tenth, basically. That's all he got the last two laps. We have three and a half laps to go as Noah Hart's looking for his second win in about, say, about four races. He won back his in Joltis. And he's showing up today here in Phoenix, and Chris Washer's starting to race him again. Could possibly start slowing him up again. See what the gap is this time. We got three laps to go. It's another half a tenth got knocked off. That's it. 
Looking through the field. Richard Johnson, Aaron Williams Jr. back here not gaining anything. Jacob Lawler is slipping back. He's about to lose spots to Daniel Hummel and others. There's William Duncan, Sean Hindley not made a move today toward the front. And then the other chasers have ran about 17th up from the cloud up. They've ran well. I mean, they're getting points. Uh, Collar's on of Danny Wells right now. Dylan Young's trying to get him for four. Nothing's changing the front. It's one point. It's actually one second exactly now. I don't think Seth has anything for that eight car, though. I mean, just the strategy is going to overhaul his run to the win. Yeah. And Noah Hart might be creating his second win of the season and of his career. I don't think Noah Hart might going to be a problem up ahead. Danny Wells is running really low back there trying to uh, get around Collard as the white flag is out for Noah Hart. Might be the only battle on the track. Again, I apologize for it kind of being boring and Trent's probably going to laugh about it. But, I mean, it was a lot better the other few times but I didn't want it to be a legit race when we tested so because he saw it but nonetheless don't want to take away from who's possibly about to win the race Noah Hart with some strategy early on with the first lap pit stop compared to the others he came out earlier and he got back on track ahead of the other guys it is a payoff in the victory today here at Phoenix as Noah Hart wins the Avocare 500 today here at Phoenix International Raceway and that's hopefully the last time I have to say that Whew. thank god Phoenix is almost over <laughs> Noah Hart is going to victory lane in the eight car in a very clean race. Waiting for Zohar Martin to uh, cross the line. And now the race is official. Noah Hart is going to victory lane today at Phoenix. Oh my goodness. Like I said, it's, it's going to be over. But definitely going to be an interesting race for the championship. Might be the most competitive one we've had ever in the series history. With so many drivers still being eligible, I think we might have a solid eight cars, I'm, or it might actually be seven. I don't know. It might actually be eight. I'm not sure if William Duncan's going to stay in contention now at this point. I'm not sure because he was going to be close. Everybody else was still in contention by about ten points on him. So, well, with Aaron Williams Jr., Sean Henley, Richard Johnson, Jacob Lawler all having problems. I mean, fifth through eighth definitely took advantage of it today in points. Congrats again to Noah Hart on the victory. Seth Cole ends up second. Trent Dunn on the highest finish and chaser. Ended, well, second highest chaser. I should say Seth was the highest finish and chaser. Seth again might be trying to work his way toward a top 10 spot in the points. Trying to get back to that. There's a shot for him to do that. Trent Dunham is going to really help himself out after having a disappointing run at his home track last week in Texas. He'll end up third. Danny Wells, one of his better runs of the season, fourth. Dylan Young, who looked like the dominant car all day. He apparently had problems coming to his pit stall because... When I watched him, he was so slow entering his stall, and I don't know if it was just that first pit stall or what, but it probably bit him. He just got really far behind his pit stops, and that's what kept killing him. He drops to fifth, but still, good run for Dylan Young regardless. Justin Perry, nice run for him in sixth, the Coca-Cola 600 winner. Joshua Mudd, still looking for his first win in the Cup Series side. He'll end up seventh, highest finishing Michael Walter racing car, I believe, and probably, I think he's the, no, he's the second highest Toyota. John Dillon bounces back with an 8th place finish. James Qualls, nice run for him in ninth, And teammate Kurt Morgenick, all three Gibbs cars, 6th, ninth, and then Kurt in 10th. So all three Gibbs cars make the top 10 today. Great run for that team. It's going to keep Kurt Morgenick's championship hopes alive as well. Joseph Lombard, Steven Gonzalez ends up 12th. He helps himself out a lot as well. Robert Baderview, Michael Walton, Sean Gallagher end up 15th, but I believe Gallagher is going to be mathematically eliminated after today. Michael Norman, James McLeod, also in the same boat, probably going to be eliminated from championship contention. Uh, Tim Walsh, Cole Daly, Ryan Acosta, your top 20, and then the rest of the field. I also want to point out, I think William Duncan might be borderline. I don't know if he's still going to be in contention. If he's 45 or more points back, then, uh, or if he's actually more than 45 back, then he's going to be out. It'll be showing the points. If your name's in red, then you're out. Uh, who was another person? Collard, I know, is going to be out because he wrecked. He's going to be out of contention, but... I want to say it's going to be a solid eight cars or possibly nine battling for the championship going to Homestead. And again, the story of the day, though, is very clean, but all the guys up at the top of the standings struggled. Aaron Williams Jr. was 35th, Richard Johnson 36th, Sean Henley was 29th, Jacob Lawler was 31st. I mean, top four in points right there, 29th or worse. So that's going to make things interesting for sure. Heading into Homestead, and man, it's going to be close. I can't wait to just tally up the points, see how close it is. But uh, that's all it is from today. I was going to see what happened to Jack Richards. I think he had contact on pit road, but that's basically all that happened, I think. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, here at Phoenix. I mean, Phoenix!
can't, it's starting to go away now. But I hope you guys enjoyed today, Dre. Thanks for watching, guys, here at the Advocate 500. Remember to comment, keep up your ride. This is the second to last race of the season. We're finally almost over. I promise to be done by May, and I'm sticking to that word. It is May 22nd when I'm recording this. I hope I upload this maybe 23rd. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, again, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to keep up with the channel. Like I said, comment if you have any questions or just comment if you're in the series. That'd be lovely since it's almost over, and I appreciate if you guys comment. Smile, smile, and uh, yeah. Thanks again for watching, guys. One last look at the results. And again, congratulations to Noah Hart and the whole 18 for picking up their second win of the season and second of his career. I will see you guys for the championship weekend at Homestead. We do already have our Nationwide Series champion crown in Danny Wells, but the Cup Championship battle will make up probably for that with a huge amount of drivers battling for the championship going into next week's finale. Thanks for watching, guys, and the season's almost over, and I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye. Probably not, but I just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, and I hope you like this video for today. I will see you guys next time, very soon, and thanks for watching this digest for you. I'll see you guys later, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Bye! Oh, the nice time way How did I get up there? The Kaiser Rohe Ray Review! This is gonna be a problem in Ryan Acosta! P200 runs Scott Dillon up the hill! Just the period on his back bumper! He's gonna get wrecked! Oh, he gets pinned behind the 51! It's, uh, that's all it takes! John Dillon's going back to victory lane! This time the Boundary Series, John Dillon takes the Daytona 500!